planted. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're uh, still down here in the Washita Mountains, day two, and uh, we've been fishing a little bit. We've been uh, back roading with the Wrangler. We didn't get to bring the Africa Twin, but that kind of sucks. But I can't do the Wrangler, bring the Jeep, the trailer. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it all in one one thing. So. We just had to settle for the Jeep for now. We still go off-roading, so it's pretty cool. We've got the wolf pup here. Everything's working great. Oh, well, except for one thing, the hot water heater, of course, messed up. Uh, I'll have to show you this hot water heater. The electric side of it works. It's electric and gas, but the gas side quit. But it's really not much good anyway. It's, it's got a six gallon tank, but you know, one person can't finish a good shower with six gallon before, because you start dumping cold water into the hot water immediately it starts cooling down. So six gallon don't last you very long at all. And uh, then another person wants to take a shower, well you gotta wait for it to warm up. So let me show you the one over here that, it actually quit us, so let me switch the camera. You gotta turn around here. Show you this thing. Oh, what's wrong? I'd say the regulator's screwed up because I do have spark uh, to the igniter. I've got gas, I've lit the stove, there's gas, it's bled out. It's just not kicking the gas on for some reason. And there's a switch in here, which I do have on. But it's broke, at least the electric side works. You do have some hot water, but just not near as good as the gas. So anyway, I plan on replacing this thing with a Precision Temp uh, RV550 and uh, EC, should say that. Uh, Precision Temp, they make the best out there for RVs and and uh, tiny houses and stuff. So uh, they're the ones that I definitely want to get. And uh, some will get one and I'll make a video showing this thing, taking it out and replacing it. And uh, hopefully this won't happen again. They're really good. The good part about it is we're not gonna run out of water. We can turn on the hot water. It immediately lights when you turn on the hot water, puts the hot water to the shower, the sink, whatever you use in the tub and we don't have to worry about running out. So that'd be sweet. This thing here is literally worthless. You get a little bit of hot water, maybe enough you can do a sink full of dishes or so, and by then it's done cold. So I'm um, gonna we'll take this thing totally out, replace it with the precision temp, and uh, we'll be good to go. They also make one too, that's an M. I believe it's an M550 EC, and that one's for marine stuff. But uh, they make different ones. The new one is the EC, I do know that. So uh, as soon as I get that precision temp, I'll be making a video showing the install. And uh, you guys will like that any RV, or especially if you get a wolf pup or any other RV, because it's gonna fit any of these that's got this salt water. I mean, you can even, this one here, I actually have to modify it a little bit, just cut the hole just a little bit bigger for it, but it's gonna work great. Can't wait to get it. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Catch you all in the next video. Right on.